Hello people who think Jay is mind blowing. My name is Sissy and welcome to Stop Flashing and welcome to another episode of How to Cantonese. So this video will be a more conceptual slash um, explanatory slash kind of an intermediate level thing. So yeah, please forgive me for being less funny. As if I was funny in all the other episodes. Um, let's, let's get to it. Given the special feature of Cantonese, aka being a total annoying piece of crap, it is very difficult indeed to learn how to speak and write at the same time. So that's why I guess many of you Cantonese learners out there start learning the language focusing on speaking. It was alright at the beginning and you're picking things up, that's great. And when you try to move on to the writing part, that's when everything begins to behave like Rapunzel's hair in mud, all tangled and annoying. The reason behind all these things is that the written form in Cantonese and the spoken form in Cantonese are very, very different. Written form in Cantonese, Su Min Yu, is a style we used on formal text, such as reports, um, final year assignments, newspapers, etc. etc. While the spoken form in Cantonese that is Hao Yu is another different style that people use when they're conversing with each other in daily life. Before some of you start asking questions, no, it is not the differences between writing Chinese character and speaking the Cantonese language. Well, technically, you can speak in a written style and you can also write in a spoken style. But things will get kinda awkward if you try to do so. It is because if you try to speak in the writing style, it will make you sound like still barking. Why? Why does everything hate me? It is because when you are trying to speak in the writing style, it makes you sound like you are reading out of some sort of textbooks. Yes, people can still understand what you are trying to say, you can communicate with people, no problem. Um, not that there is a problem. You look weird doing that. Because people don't talk like that. They don't talk to others in sentences like They use Well, on the other hand, it probably sounds less weird if you do things the other way around. That is, to write in a spoken style. Because we do that all the time now, thanks to the internet or the smartphone or yeah just mobile phone itself. We do that during texting or tweeting now and back when email was a thing. No, we don't do that on emails. Okay, back back to back to the whole differences part. Before I start rambling. There is some sort of like differences between how you speak and how you write in English as well, but mm, those are far less distinct um, compared to those in Cantonese. It is not just the differences between using some fancy words or more complex sentence patterns. Instead, it is a totally different um, choice of words, even for the fairly basic ones. For instance, the English sentence, I had sushi for dinner last night. It was delicious. In Cantonese spoken style, the sentence will be, Yet in the written style, it will become, Yet in the written style, it will become, 
Now you see, despite being a fairly simple sentence, the whole choice of words are quite different. So to all the beginners who are still watching till this point, don't don't be scared. Just focus on what you are trying to learn right now, either the speaking part or the written part, and use it to get to the other part later on. After you have accumulated enough um, content or material. And speaking of focusing on one part. If you are focusing on the speaking part right now, maybe try to rely less on written text, like books. Because for textbooks especially, it takes a long time to write and publish a book. So by the time the, you, can't, you get the book on your hand and you start reading it, the style it mentioned may have gone outdated or being too old. And the result of learning from an old book is awkward speaking style. Just imagine how we learn English in our schools via textbooks. One example is we still have that how are you, I'm fine, thank you, and you. This kind of conversation in our textbooks. Do natives English speakers really say that. I doubt that. But if, you, if you're learning how to write in Cantonese, then you need books. That is because of the same reason. People speak in a very different manner. Even in some like serious slash formal situations like what evening news or business conferences, people are still not going to speak in a pure written style, which means there will always be a certain level of um, differences between speaking and writing. So if you w truly want to master Chinese writing, then you need to read. Okay, let's, let's end the episode here before I begin to like ramble lots of nonsense and keep you feeling bored. I know this video is not as like example viewed or it doesn't contain many jokes inside. It is just a concept that I guess it would be confusing. Anyway, I hope you guys find this video somehow useful despite I am not making sense, so I don't think I am. But I did get my script written, so whatever. Anyway, if you have any kinds of questions um, related to this concept or just anything else, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe to this channel for more future Cantonese related stuff. Promise that the next one will be less boring. At least I'll put in more memes, okay? And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!